Hey guys, welcome to another video. Okay, so tonight I'm going to do a test to see if I can pour resin on a piece of chipboard. Now this is relatively thick piece of chipboard. Got it Hobby Lobby. So you can see it's like three pieces glued together. So I'd say at least a quarter inch thick and it's a 12 by 12. Now all I've done is tape the back of it. You see it has the pre-made uh, holes to hang it with. And I'm just curious to see how it comes out with no prep, no painting, no gesso, no nothing. Just pour it right on top. I'm always trying to find cheaper ways to create art. Um, some pieces I just create to decorate my home with. And some pieces that I create to sell, obviously I wouldn't do them on a piece of chipboard, but I like to test out different materials to give you guys different options of saving money. Speaking of, I know I mentioned this in another video, I think, but these little shiny plastic six pack cups, themed cups for the holidays that they sell at Dollar Tree, um, they work excellent for resin. They mix really easy. It mixes really easy in, in them because there is no kind of a, you know, the other plastic cups have those grooves on the side. Sometimes hardener or resin can get stuck in them. These are just flat, smooth, shiny surface on the inside and out. And once it dries, if you leave this stick up against the wall like this, then you'll be able to rip it right out in one piece and keep going. Now, the way I measure for these cups is I take, um, this needs six ounces. I know that these little plastic bathroom cups are three ounces, so I'll take one, I'll fill it to the top with resin, fill it to the top with hardener, and I know I have the same equal amounts and it all works out good. Another thing that works really well for measure uh, mixing resin are these um, measuring cups from Walmart. They are a three pack and nothing ever gets stuck inside of them. It rips right out one big piece. I do have a hard time, however, with these guys the sides are shiny but the bottom of it is not and the first time you use it after you buy it it works like a dream but after that for some reason that bottom it just gets stuck down there and a lot of times the stick will break away and there will be a big chunk of resin stuck down there now, if that ever happens, one thing you can do that I do is I put some more liquid resin in there and stick another stick in and hope that I can pull it out the right way the next time. Or you got to get yourself a man and have him dig it out somehow for you like I do. <laughs> okay, before I jump into the color viewing, I just want to give a huge shout out to Joyce M and say thank you so very, very much. I am so grateful not only to have you as a subscriber, but as also I consider a friend. Because of Joyce, I was able to finally get my Posca pens and I am so excited to use these. They are the best as far as I'm concerned and I am truly, truly grateful. Thank you so much, Joyce. So, here are the colors that I'm going to be using, all the res today. And um, this is the Angel White. It's your basic strong, opaque white. Very good stuff, especially for selling. This is Appetite Blue. that not a gorgeous color I lied they're not all Lorez this is actually liquid leaf I love 
using liquid leaf. I feel like I get a lot of uh, special effects, but the molten gold that Lorez has is awesome also. I just don't have any more of it, so I am using liquid leaf right now. This is the purple gold. Another really pretty color. They're all pretty. And these are all epoxy pastes. They are mixed into the resin. I mean, you put the color in, mix maybe five, six times, and it's literally mixed in. They mix in like a dream. That is my favorite color of all time, Lucky Green. I am a green girl. Love it. All right, so here we go. I'm jumping right in. I am just going to pour this white on, spread it around, and see where it takes me. Maybe it'll warp. Maybe it will peel apart. Who knows? Only time will tell. So I'm just going to put a thin outline here of the, the shape that I'm working on. That's what I usually do. Just so when I go to spread it out, I have some by the edge already. And it's easier to spread it. And we'll start with that. I bought these new spreaders from Hobby Lobby. They were in the baking department, $2.99, you get two of them. So I'm gonna try those out. They're, I believe they're silicone. If not, they'll be used one time and thrown in the garbage. What are you gonna do? Packaging didn't say, it's weird. Usually it does. All right, so here we go. I really need to put something else under here. Hold on one second, sorry guys. Oh, now I have to see if you're in frame still. I'm hoping I don't have to use all my white here, but I feel like it may be sucking it in a little bit because it is paper, don't forget. Some type of um, pressed paper, I guess you could say. I'm just going to push it right up to the edge here. I want to try to reserve a little bit of the white in case I need it, but I think I'm going to have to put more on here. I'm not too concerned about the sides right now. This is only a test. And if it comes out halfway decent, I could always paint the sides afterwards. But here's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's put a little in the center here. A little here and then a little here okay now what I'm going to do is take my colors and pour them in between those Just in a simple puddle pour. Four puddle pours. Yep. 
reserve a little bit of it. I'm not going to use the gold. That's for when I go streaking later tonight. <laughs> and you know, let me put a little tiny bit of white in between each color. I can't do it on that one that I already poured, but... I just want to see what I get for cells doing it this way. Okay. Okay, here we go. And then some more white. And then the lucky green. It is really a beautiful color. So my plan is to blow each one out towards their corner and this one maybe go sideways. Um, I guess I'll see what moves me when it's time to do it. And then I'm thinking tilting afterwards, but we'll see. I want to end off with a little more purple. I really like that color. Okay. I may not have enough. Let's see. Lorez pastes and pigment uh micas are by far my favorite. The quality you can almost feel it. It's very weird. It's like a paper towel. You got the store brand and then you have Bounty that's quilted. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of like that. There is one uh, company I've been dying to try and that's uh, Miss Colorberry's Colors. Michael from MKO. Um, he's on YouTube too. Awesome channel. Awesome guy. Talk to him here and there and it's just a dial. 
But anyway, um, he has them and she, she had some beautiful magenta color. I don't know what it was. But as you all know, shipping from other company uh, countries are torturous. Too bad there isn't a distributor here in the United States like there is for Lorez. Which, by the way, if anybody buys any Lorez, I have a coupon code down below for $10 off 95 through Laura's Art Corner. The link is all down there below. She was kind enough to give me a link for you guys. She knows I love them. All right, so here we go. You know, I think I want to put my platypus end on. Sorry about that. I have a heat gun that has attachments. And because of the way I want it to blow, I think I need this. Okay, here we go. like color burst. Ask me what that is, but it's something. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Ipsy doodle all the way. What are we doing here? There's like pretty areas everywhere, so. What do you do with something like that? Leave it alone. It's quite pretty. I still have to go streaking. I have... Here, let's do this. Look at this. I love this. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a pipette. And I'm going to take the gold. First, I have to cut the tip off. All right. Just sucking it up into the pipette. And I 
like that. Don't want to mess with that area too much. Pretty cool. Ready? I like that. I like it a lot. And I guess in the end, it only it's all that matters. In the court, the um, chipboard seems to be holding up pretty good. So, you know, I'm not going to push my luck like I always do as I go back in with more color. Okay, done, I promise. I'm gonna give you a close up now. Just gonna torch it really quick. We'll see what happens. I love that color combination. I had done another one a while ago. Um, it's right here. I don't know if you can see that, but I love that color combo. Okay, here we go. Bottom right corner, working our way up. Look at that area, it's gorgeous. Angel White does that. That is a very, very good white epoxy paste for selling and lacing. All right guys, so 
hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, would you please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and if you feel like it, leave a comment below. I want to thank you, as always, for tuning in and being the awesome people that you are. Might be able to, uh, sorry about the light. I'm not sure which way I would hang it. That's kind of pretty, too. Now you see why I don't show you paintings from this angle. <laughs> light. Yeah, I really like that. It almost looks like flowers. Right there, the center of a flower. All right. I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. Have a great night, guys. Happy pouring.